All right, tonight's lesson is lesson 56, and we are multiplying by three digit numbers like we did in the last lesson, but this time we're gonna have a zero in our problem. And I'm going to show you kind of what to do when that happens. So the first number we have is 243 times 120. And like what you have normally been doing, I'm going to offset my zero. It's going to make my problem so much easier. Okay, so I'm going to write it again, 243 times 120. But what you can make it look like, this would be your normal problem, is 243 and offset my zero, 120. Okay. So what you can do, drop your zero like normal, and now do your problem. Two times three is six, two times four, eight, two times two, four. Now, you dropped a zero. Now you have to do two zeros. This is the only thing that makes it a little bit different, is you're skipping that whole first step. So when you drop your zero, when you offset it, you now have to do two when you do another number. Because really, this is in your ones place, this is your tens, and this is your hundreds. So I'm gonna take my, my hundreds, which looks like a 10, but because I shifted it over. One times three is three, one times four is four, one times two is two. And like you've noticed, when you do these problems, make sure that you keep all of your numbers in a straight line, because once they get out of order, it's really hard to add them, and that's where some of your mistakes, where they come from. Zero plus zero, six, 11, eight plus three is 11, four plus four is eight, plus one is nine, and two, one, two, three, 29,160. Okay, we're gonna do the next one together, again, because it is a little bit different. Okay, so I'm gonna take my 243 times 102. Now I don't offset this because my zero is not on the end. Okay, so I'm gonna do my normal multiplication here. Two times three, remember I can cover it if I want. Um, on your dry erase boards, you've been erasing it and writing it back, whatever works for you. Two times three, six. Two times four, eight. Two times two, four. Now I'm going on to my second number, so I need to drop my zero. But my second number is a zero. If I do zero times three, zero times four, zero times two, that all, they all equal zero. So what I can do is say, all right, zero times all these numbers is zero, so I'm gonna skip my line or write in my zero times three, zero times four, zero times two, write in my zeros, and now I go to my next line, which is a one, so I need to drop two zeros now. The hardest thing I think with um, three digit numbers when you're multiplying is keeping track of, did I drop my one zero, did I drop my two zeros, and making sure you do them in the right order. So really, see if you have your ones, you don't drop anything. If you have your tens column, you're obviously dropping one because you have your tens. If you're in your hundreds, you have two zeros, so you need to drop two zeros. So if that helps you, if that trick works, do it that way. Okay, so now we need to go to our third number. One times three is three, one times four, is four, one times two, is two. And add them. Now I saw some of you, um, when you were doing these problems, you draw lines and like little categories, little columns to keep your numbers in. If that really helps you do the problems and keep them straight, that's totally fine. Six plus all these zeros, six, eight plus zero, eight, four plus three, seven, four plus zero is four, and two plus nothing is two. One, two, three, 24,786. Okay, try the next one by yourself. Go ahead, pause your video, see if you can do it, and then I'm going to do it with you. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna start with my fours. I can remember, I can put my finger over it if that helps. Four times four, 16. Four times three is 12, plus one is 13. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 1 is 9. I'm on to my next number, drop my 0. I notice it's 0, so I can fill it in, 1, 2, 3. I can fill in my zeros, or I can just skip to the next one. I'm in my 100 column now, so I know I need two zeros, because hundreds have two zeros. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 3, 6. 2 times 2, 4. I'm going to add them all up. 6, 3. 9 plus 8 is 17. 
6 plus 1, 7. 4 plus nothing, 4. 1, 2, 3. 47,736. All right. This is our last example before you go on to your lesson practice, and it says a vendor sold 120 hot dogs for $3.25 each. How much money did he collect? Okay, so he sold 120 hot dogs, and they each were $3.25. Okay, so I'm going to set up my problem. I'm going to offset my zero. When I see a zero on the end, I know I can kind of move it over and make my problem easier, but just remember... Um, that you offset it. So three dollars and twenty-five cents, okay, times I'm gonna put my one, two, and I'm gonna offset my zero here. Okay, two times five, ten. Two times two is four plus one, five. Two times three is six. Okay, I'm going to drop my zero now, but remember this is my ones, so I didn't have to drop a zero. This is my tens and I just dropped one and now I'm at my hundred so I'm gonna have to do two zeros now when you offset one you basically skip a step so be careful you're gonna need to drop both those zeros now so now I'm with my one which is really in my hundreds place which is why I dropped two zeros one times five is five one times two is two one times three is three if that is confusing for you um, offsetting it and then dropping your zeros you can go through the whole process of putting your three numbers here and zero and zero and zero and write all your zeros in if that helps you totally up to you okay when we add this zero plus zero 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 plus zero zero five plus five ten six seven eight nine and three plus one three plus nothing sorry is three okay but now I have 39,000 and I know I was talking about dollars so I go back to my problem I count how many places I have behind my decimal point one two two spots so I come to my end here go over one go over two my answer must have two spots too so then my answer is thirty three hundred and ninety dollars so how much money did he collect three hundred and ninety dollars off 120 hot dogs that's pretty good all right, and your lesson practice is right here. You have three problems. The first one is $1.25 times 240. Whoops. And 800, and then sorry, number two is 230 times 120. And three is 832 times 709.